Give a woman a mask and you will reveal her true nature. The mask in this content is a symbol that represents marriage. In marriage, there are different kinds of issues like communication issues, infidelity, finance, jealousy, abuse, lack of trust, unrealistic expectations, lack of intimacy, And of course, stress. As a young man who wishes to settle down, you need to know the difference between a want and a need in a woman because the choice you make is the outcome of your home. to come out today. Then I'll miss our gossip now. How are you? When did you come back and where did you travel to? Ah, ah. All these questions for me. Hmm. Well, I went to Dubai uh -huh. for some shopping. Really? I spice myself up. Wow, it did hurt. I, I got some very him. nice things. Don't worry. Hmm. Well, next to see, I'll get some for you. Oh, I really appreciate that. What's wrong? You know, Getting married so early is heartbreaking. Honestly, it's heartbreaking. Some people are lucky. From the unlucky one, no. So how is your husband? I'm sick and tired of this marriage. And someone is going through it. Why can it be heard that my husband cannot satisfy me? He's only a one minute, 35 seconds man. What? You don't mean it. One minute? 35 seconds. I can you imagine? With all these things I'm carrying. Hmm. Oh, I'm tired of this marriage. Too oh. ah. so a funny, Sha. Here I am complaining that my so called husband wishes to destroy my womb. <laughs> so that man is a lion. He is a sex freak. He stays on me more than an hour. <laughs> hmm. We need to exchange those bonds, though. Yes, let's do. Please do. 
but always make sure to get your pen and paper ready at all time. I don't understand. <laughs> you are here complaining how many minutes your own husband stays on him. Why my own husband who made me to calculate and write down every single penny I'm buying from the market. Hmm. That's been stingy. Hmm. He makes me to buy pepper 50 naira, Gary 100 naira, and he will say, I don't want us to waste this. We will buy them when we need them. No, I'm even feeling for you, sir. You see, man, he will stain your wife. Yeah. Uh, let me look for what I will go and do with my one minute 35 seconds. Ah. And why are you laughing? It's actually funny. You mean you really have time to calculate that when you're in the mood? My eye starts when he starts kissing me, and I have a big work club. That is my timer. Eh? Yeah. Hmm. You don't mean it. So what are you going to do now? I need to go and see that yeah, yeah, arrogant counselor. I need an open marriage. Hmm. Hey, yeah, I am feeling for you. <laughs> Honestly, this one not easy at all. <laughs> What is she doing here? Is this woman? Hi, Joyce. Hi, Abigail. Hi. I can see you two guys are enjoying yourself. If you have something to say, please say it. I didn't plan to go, but I have no choice. How is life for the Burj and blessing see you to you guys? <laughs> is that supposed to be a compliment or what? I know how to handle this one. First of all, when you call the name blessing CEO, you should add some respect to that. She's like a goddess to us. And then, Say that bird is not as dumb as you are. I love that. <laughs> you see, you guys should better amend your ways and repent. Good men build their home, while the bad ones aim on destroying theirs. Catch up with you guys later. I hate her. Eh? See, see her. There's not so much expressions when you say that. <laughs> Always running her mouth, ranting up and down. I know she looks so perfect. Behind the max is a man's mistake. The ungrateful type. Selfish. This kind of a lady never builds a home, only caring for themselves. Oh, what's up, you are You're here. Men and food. Always eating. Can't even wait some seconds. <laughs> How are you, Mrs. Abigo? How I am? If I'm fine, will I be here? <sighs> it's fine. It's not fine, you know. I can't even apologize. Apologize to you on what? You see? That's the problem I also have with my husband. Always thinking he's right, never admitting he is wrong. Thinking women should do this, do that, do this, do that. Are women slaves? Okay, it's fine. I'm sorry. Okay? You're sorry for what exactly? You just said I should I need to apologize to you. And you didn't think to ask why you're apologizing. Miss Abigail, why am I apologizing? Because hmm. you're eating like a gentleman. You need to eat like a man. If when you eat like a man, you'll be able to eat the other thing like a man. Not like some one minute, that's five seconds, man. Really? Okay. I'm sorry for eating like a, a gentleman. So, um, why are you here, Mrs. Abigail Timothy? It's about my marriage, Joe. It's not going well. And you used to encourage you should do everything to make it right. I'm not enjoying this marriage again. I'm not enjoying it. I need an open marriage. Sorry? <laughs> what do you mean by open marriage? Open marriage now, when the couples allow themselves to have sex partners outside. That's what I need right now. I'm not feeling my marriage anymore. Yes. 
when couples, when couples allow each other, they will still prioritize their emotions, oh yes. But at least they will explore their sexual desires outside and their preferences. That's what I need right now. Please advise me. Oh. You need my advice on this? Yes. Okay. Do you go to church? Uh, which kind of question is that? Good. Because uh, you will be needing to see your pastor. I will need to see my pastor? Yes. With this kind of a woman, Mr. Timothy is a real man. With this kind of a woman, I'm afraid you are gone. Sometimes we and our partners have bad moods and bad days. This is just a reality of life and nothing to be concerned about. However, when our partner's bad mood shifts from occasional grumpiness or venting to chronic negativity, it can become a problem. I'm not actually a bad wife. I know you must disagree with me. That's your choice. I'm just a woman that wishes the best for herself. I need to look good. Get my satisfaction from my man at giving time. I'm selfish, right? Hmm. Yes, I love it. If you like, judge me. That's your cup of tea. What is it? See, Mui, I don't understand what is going on in this house. Am I your wife or some sort of asshole? Ha, where is all this coming from now? <laughs> coming from your pocket. Listen, allow me to sleep in peace. You are not having your way with me this night, tomorrow night, or whatever night. Are you aware that I'm your husband? Oh, you know. I thought I was your roommate or your girlfriend. <sighs> See, let me tell you, it's going to be on my terms. I'm listening. See, we are going to start all over again because I cannot continue with a stingy man. Talking stage is 500k. Why monthly you will give me 20 million to open up for you? <laughs> Ah! My da boy! <laughs> nice one. Marriage can offer wonderful benefits for well-being, life satisfaction, and stress management. But no relationship is without its challenges. The common problem of marriage can put a strain on a couple. But there's a choice in how to handle these issues. As for me, I know come this sort can't stress myself. She's right. I know come this world to stress myself. As for me, making out is yet another common disagreement between spouse, especially if the man is a stingy man like my husband. Like money is an incredible emotional topic and can leave both husband and wife feeling vulnerable and upset. Deferring intimacy, needs, frequently of making out and communicating individual desires can all factor into conflict centered around the bedroom. As for me, I am holding on to that man that developed a common sense of giving. Things are very expensive in the market. Ah, I was buying mm -hmm. this thing the other day. It's very costly. Ah, oh, no. Which is a cost, eh? Hi, it's guys. About the other day, I just want to say I'm sorry for the way I reacted. 
Seeing men like me do what's wrong is very, very irritating. It irritates me well. Ha! Look at this one. And who are you to judge us, you repented prostitute? So you think we don't know your little secret, eh? Of how you bought your way out of school with your body and eventually went into real estate business to continue with your prostitution in disguise. You think we don't know? Hmm. I can see someone visited my page recently and someone is looking for something to talk about. They said I wasn't referring to myself. Your friend here have a story related. Are you crazy? Is there something wrong with you? Where are you sharing? It is harder. Are you high? When I say I'm sorry, I didn't mean any single word of it. Besides, someone graduated from a local prostitution to an international world. No hard feelings. Babe, no, no. Are you? No, babe. Just leave her, okay? She doesn't have the right to judge you, okay? Calm down. Just calm down. Are we so? Calm down. How many times have I told you not to call me whenever I'm busy? Am I the first woman to get married and have a child? Is she not your child also? Please take care of her. I have a life to live. Don't trouble. That man, I don't even understand. He can't even take care of a child. I, I left for so just how many minutes I left the house. You need to take it easy. Okay? And when did you start becoming soft? It's not that I'm soft, okay? I'm just trying to be concerned. <laughs> so I should be like you, where your husband, where your husband calculates everything you buy from the market and still supervises everything you buy from the market. <laughs> I actually denied him of his right until he loses of his pocket. Talking stage 500k, why monthly 20 million? <laughs> <laughs> you you remind me of say that boy, one crazy lady like that. <laughs> oh well, I'm worse than her. I should be calling you blessing, CEO. First lady. Uh -uh. Madam, calm down. Uh -uh, you blow to the horse. You need to be calming down. Oh, it's Abigail. Before you say anything, actually, I came for a very serious discussion. I have a serious question. And I need your honest answer on it. And better be careful about it. Between me and my husband, who is supposed to take care of the house chores? Well, if you ask me, I will say it depends on who stays at home. And what kind of stupid answer is that? Okay, you've gone up with my husband now, nah. You've gone up with him. This is Abigail, you should have allowed me to land mm. before you cook me. Highlander, private jet. Land, let me be hearing you, oh. Like I was saying. Before I interrupted, yes, I know. Can you just come <laughs> down and listen? Well, if the husband is at home, maybe because he's up from work, and the oh. wife happens to be at work, the man should do the cooking, do the cleaning and um, you know, manage things at home. In the situation where both of them are at home, they can do things together, you know, cook together, do the cleaning together, you know, and help and build a very happy home. Do you know that ever since I've known you, this is the first time you're actually saying something very reasonable. <laughs> My husband, though, he said, He's not a kitchen man. The kitchen is for the women. He's, he's only a man in the other stuff. And annoying, the annoying part is, even in the other stuff, he's still... He's just a one minute, 35 seconds man. Isn't it? Is that supposed to be an insult? Did I, did I, did I ask for your opinion? And this, this, my work is very hard. I just have, I have every, I have things to do. Yes, excuses upon excuses. Why are men like this? My dear, not all men. You can see for your husband. Mm. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Look, this is Abigail. Mm. I am always here to advise you. 
Mm. Mm. I need you to understand that marriage is not a competition. There are, these are some of the little things you need to overlook in marriage. Mm. It doesn't matter who do the cooking, who do the cleaning. What matters is your understanding, mm. your love for your husband. And believe me, when you do all this, you will have a happy home. It's making sense, too. Real sense. Huh. <sighs> Well, I'm glad you are beginning to listen to me. Is that supposed... I don't understand. Is that supposed to be an insult? Okay, because I'm listening to you now. You feel like you, you are saying something meaningful. I even feel... I, I think it's high time I go back, safe and say to my husband. Because all these things, I'm tired of it. Sometimes, safe. <sighs> well, it will be nice. And it will call for a celebration if you do just that. I think my husband is broke. Is he broke? Oh, that's my wife. Your wife? I'm so tired. Babe, you are here. Oh, what was wrong? What is with the long face? Cynthia. Uh uh. Cynthia again. What did she do this time? Will you believe that Cynthia is Mr. Ben, the counselor's wife? What? You don't mean it. That means he will be giving her information about us. No, 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 no. Mr. Ben is very professional about his job. You can't do that. I can't do that. Wow. Ah, are you taking me your face like that? Is this sincere again? Oh, my husband. I can't believe my husband is broke. What? Like damn broke. God, and I can't stay with that. Hmm. Man, this is really serious. That's the point. Right now, everything he does irritates me, pisses me off. <laughs> you know the normal code now, money for pockets, man go fine. Of course. When he's broke, I mean, ugliness go show. Nothing to show. Oh, my I dear. don't even know again, sir. I'm very tired. I need to go. Honestly, it's well. Thank you, my dear. All right, dear. Oh, you're welcome, Mrs. Abigo. You see, your husband came here today and... That was... stupid broke man. Yes, now he came here to report me to you. Anyways, I'm a breadwinner of the family as it stands and I came to ask what's next because I can't keep staying with that broke man in my house. Can't keep taking care of all the bills. But he never asked you to do any He doesn't need to ask me as it stands. He's broke. Like he's very broke. When I mean he's broke, he is very broke. So because he's broke, you have to rub it on his face? And so what? How, why, how, where will it be heard that I'm staying with a broke man? I can't keep continuing like this. I can't keep doing like this. I, I think I will even need to divorce that man, Seth. I think I will need to divorce that man. I can't stay like this. No. What will my friends be saying about me? A whole me. Staying with a broke man. Who will pay my bills? Or will I be the one paying his bills? No, now. It doesn't work that way. So you want to be the husband of the house? Now? Exactly. I'll be the husband of the house. He pays the wife. He does everything I've been doing while I was a wife. He thinks, it's, he thinks it was easy. Yes, you'll be doing, uh, do this, do that, do this, do that. No. Now I have the upper hand. Yes. I'll be the one to take control here now. Of course. You should be the one to take control. Sometimes I wonder how women do it. Yes, you're right. You should do the cooking, you know, do the washing. You can even wash your clothes, your pants, your bra. Because it's broke. Sadly, girl, I think you need to see a doctor. You're really sick. Are you talking to me? Are you talking to the breadwinner of my family? Look at this man. I pay your bills here. I pay your bills here. And if you don't take your time, I will sack you and you go hungry. Come on, Mrs. Abigail. You both took this oath, this oath at the altar. What really went wrong? Mm, if you ask me, because as it stands now, I am divorcing that man, that broke man in my house. He's, only, he's just a mommy boy. 
Only is going to his mother for everything, everything. Any small family issue, he's going to his brother for every, his mother for everything. I can't keep living like this. I can't. I have learned that a healthy marriage is built on a foundation of mutual respect, trust, and open communication. Married people who follow these qualities can create a lasting and fulfilling marriage. If you are this kind of a human as a wife, know this, you are only but causing damage to your home. I think it's high time I do what's right. Are you even listening to me at all? Mrs. Abigail, I think I have an idea. This is Joycey. Mr. Ben, what's going on here? Uh, don't worry. Um, please have your seat, okay? While well, we we'll wait. Okay. Yes. This is Abigail. What's going on here? <sighs> same question I asked. It's still the same answer she will get. This is Abigail. You're welcome. Huh? Don't worry. We'll start very soon, okay? Please be fast about whatever you do. I have something to do. Don't worry, I'm a man of my words. Huh? I work with time. Don't worry, we'll start very soon. Okay? Oh. I don't understand. If you wanted to do a family meeting, you'd have invited your entire village now. <laughs> this is Abigail. You know, I kind of like it <laughs> when you are like this. Well, anyways. You all are here. Hmm? So let, uh, let's get down to this, okay? Um, today, I'll be talking about marriage. There are seven ways by which we can build our marriages. One, making out time for each other. Two, Say I love you. Most of us don't say that to their partners. Three. Show I love you. Not just saying it. Show it. Four. Do things together. Some of us don't do things with their partners anymore. Five. Listen to each other. Six. Be with each other. And of course, seven, pray. The last time I checked, we didn't register for a secondary school. When I mean we, talking about myself and Joyce here, I don't know some ghosts here. If anyone wishes to speak to me, they should dare me. Enough! I didn't call you ladies here to start up this. Look, I call the shots and you all answer. Whatever decision you choose to take after this is left for you. But right now, I do the talking and you all listen. Okay? We are missing the very important thing in our lives, which is family. Forgetting that families are stays together, are stronger together. I know we men do the worst, but you ladies can actually help us get better. <sighs> Coming to you, Mrs. Abigail. Your husband's business is currently having or facing a hard time because of your contribution and selfishness. I don't understand. What's that supposed to mean? Mrs. Abigail. If you could remember, two months ago, you went on a vacation. During your vacation, you went for shopping and all that. You came back 
And on the same week, you went on another trip. Insisting your husband phones that trip. Threatening to, to, to leave the, the marriage if he doesn't do that. Your husband did it. Having to borrow money from the bank. What? You never knew anything about this. Because you never asked. All you do is demand. Let me ask you. When was the last time you, 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 you asked your husband how his work going? Or even check up on him and know how his, how his well-being is? When? I... Is... I... I used to... Is... <sighs> Mrs. Abigail, you have been hurting the man that truly loves you. You know, I... I did a research on you. And in my research, I found out that you were once a church girl. Until a certain young man came into your life, used you and made away with your money. And ever since then, you turned back to every man that comes your way. Never knew. You don't know what I faced. You don't know what I passed through. Heart breaks upon heart breaks. This guy dealt with me. Whatever my husband is saying now, he cost it. This guy cost it. That is well. I understand. But you need to know that your husband truly loves you. Okay? Coming to you, Mrs. Joyce. You're a good lady. Just wanted to be like Mrs. Abigail here. But I wanted to let you know that your husband truly loves you as well. <laughs> I know you will think that you are scared, but he is not. He is just, you know, being protective. Because he doesn't want another man to have you. You know, your husband heard of a story of his friend who doesn't have time for his wife. And his wife, you know, went on messing around, sleeping with other men just to be satisfied. So your husband thought the same thing will happen to you. That is why you see him doing the things he do. You know? Though he's not even okay with it. Have you ever asked yourself why your husband always tries to have his way with you? Just to satisfy himself. Always demanding. No, Mrs. Joyce, he is not. You see, your husband grew up knowing his parents. His father always do that to his mother. And any day he doesn't do that, there is always a problem. In fact, to his parents, it's just a fun thing. But one problem your husband is having, or one mistake he's making is thinking that what works for Mr. A should as well work for Mr. B. I think you need to do that. Know that he loves you. Okay? He did this just to satisfy himself. That does not explain why he is stingy. My dear, you will not have to blame him, okay? That's his own mentality. <sighs> Coming to my wife here. Yes. I know nobody is perfect. You see, I eat out most times. Because my wife here, Cynthia, gives me her time at home. I might look happy, but deep down in me, I am a bleeding man. Um, 
Mrs. Abigail and Mrs. Tracy. I'm not saying this to paint my wife a bad person. But I have to do it because it's part of my job. Why is she always acting like it seems like she's better than us? Come on, Mrs. Abigail. Nobody is perfect. And you don't expect her to, you know, expose her bad character to the world. Look at me. I'm so sorry for everything. I truly love you. And I thought if I didn't act the way I did earlier, someone like Abigail would snatch you away from me. Hey, don't even dare. Please, I think it's high time we go back and take care of our homes. I'm truly sorry. It's fine. It's fine. <sighs> so I'll have to go back to my house and take care of my home. Family matters. It's a key to building an everlasting home in marriage. I think you're right in everything you just said. All right, ladies, see you some other time. Mm. <laughs> that went well. <laughs> <laughs> 